Good afternoon guys, it's Julie Cube from the Sunshine Coast in Queensland, Australia doing an acrylic pour for you today. I uh, just want to thank you guys for subscribing to my channel. I really, really appreciate it. Um, if you haven't done so, please do so. Press the little subscribe, bing, and the little bell uh, for notification. Um, it helps me um, and it's absolutely free to you guys so charge nothing so it's just your way just a way that you can help me I have had some people mention that I've had particularly long um, advertisements put on my channel like an hour long which I have no idea because I don't choose what a particular ads go on my channel so I have to find out why they're doing that but there is a little there is a little notice to skip ad and you can press that um you know i'm not an hour on a on a video that's 20 minutes is a little bit um weird but you know i'm not sure why so thank you any anyway for subscribing if you have and and, and thank you if you would do it for me so i've got some ooh, mellow yellows that I'm going to try and jazz up. I'm going to do the whole sort of length of this particular canvas which I think is a 40 by 50 canvas. So this is kind of um, a yellow that I mellowed down a bit um, by adding white. I'm going to really throw a loop here and I'm just hoping that it doesn't end up one big muddy mess but I have faith, have faith that it's not. It's going to be absolutely beautiful. The thing is, somebody, yeah, the thing is, uh, somebody asked me about, um, oh, you know, I, I use the same colours as you're using, but they all go muddy, but they're not necessarily doing the same style I'm doing. So what I find is if you're... Um, don't want your paints to go muddy then do this particular style do an and then do a swipe because if you do a dirty pour or even um you know like a dutch pour or something it can more often go it, it has more often the chance of going muddy because the paints have to interact a lot more with this particular style the paints when you tilt in are just gently moving over the top of one another and not necessarily being all mixed up together if you get my drift so it's kind of a really good style for people to do if you don't want your colors having an affair with each other and getting mixed in so if you know what I mean you know what I mean so I'm gonna really wheel this up here and add this absolute brilliant red they're all my Montmartre studio acrylics and as I tell you always all the info is in the drop-down box uh, of my pouring medium how I mix my paints and recipe I don't keep any secrets it's all there if you take uh, if you care to look so Put in this brilliant red i want something really bright and uplifting it's the start of the weekend and you'll probably be seeing this on the weekend and i just want it to be bright and uplifting so what's more bright and uplifting and in your face than this sunny yellows and a brilliant red can't really um, go wrong with those bright and uplifting colors I was going to add a gold, but I'm not going to because I think it will be lost. I might just add a little bit of this uh, green light. I think it's called green light. So this is really, um, yeah, really out there colours, aren't they? So. I am keeping my fingers crossed that they'll play nicely together. I've got just white mixed up in this container, so I'm going to put a bit of white in there before I do the um, whole tilty thing. It kind of does look Christmassy because I've got the red and green 
and I didn't really want it to do that but never mind so I'm just giving this a real nice uh, just a gentle tilt <laughs> I was going to say could stir oh dear it's been a bit nippy here in um, sunny Queensland Australia today apparently we're having one of our coldest days which I was shocked as it was 14.5 degrees centigrade this morning and that's really cold for Queensland and I'm told that it may even get down to between 9 and 5 degrees because they're actually having snow in the uh, mountains in the New South Wales uh, Threadbow oh, oh, and uh, also what do they call it? Uh, Blackheath, which is in the Blue Mountains in Sydney. So they're having snow there. So I reckon we're getting the um, the runoff from that, or the wind from it, or something. So, wow, this this looks bright, and I like bright. just makes me feel good so remember it's your art room your rules my art room my rules and the rule is there's no rules that's it okay it does look Christmassy but it's just the colors but I'm hoping I can change all of that with the swipe color so I'm thinking of my swipe color to either 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 be a um oh either a navy a very dark brown like the chocolatey brown or my very delicious so to give this i'm gonna do once i'm gonna put my swipe color there instead of at the top i'm gonna do a very delicious and either not navy or brown this way probably the navy would look a bit more um, acceptable in this so this is my berry delicious which was made out of magenta and add this particular one was made out of magenta and a nice blob of black I don't measure the only measure is a green eyed measure and that's my eyes so, yes, I'm green eyed. My daddy's eyes. My mom had brown eyes. My dad had green. I think I'm the only one in my family that followed with the green eyes. Same as my dad, or, or uh, what you call them, a hazel. But the rest of my family are dark hair and brown eyes. Well, grey now, I would. <laughs> Okay, this is the Berry Delicious. So let's see if it's going to be Berry Delicious in this one. Hoping so. Maybe could have done with even a little bit more Berry in the swipe colour, but I'm trying to keep it that the swipe colour's not overtaking the rest of the canvas, which you can do if you have a lot of the swipe colour. But that's looking tutti fruity. That's the name, isn't it? Tutti Fruity. Tutti Fruity on Looty or whatever it was, the words to that song. Okay. Come on, you baby. Just turn around nicely. Let's do this. Now I'm going to put the... I'm going to try the navy. So here we go. Got a bit of navy here. And I will run it across the same line basically there we go let's hope it behaves nicely oh i've got my white tool is the soft plastic file divider it's a little bit damp on that one side so i'm hoping that it's not too damp oh there we go there we go Ooh. Summer garden, night sky. What's what's going on? 
lots of kin. Cool. Very cool. Hope you guys are enjoying your paint journey. If you're having a paint journey, if you're even if you're just watching the videos, I hope you enjoy that too and joining your favourite artists on their um, artistic journey and their tutorials to you all and and you know taking advantage of the um, online tutorials. Always a good way to pass the time, especially. It's such a challenge for people being lonely at the moment with this isolation but just keep keep your mind active or your body busy doing something if it's cleaning catching up with friends checking in on people to see that they're all okay because we're all in the same boat or they as they say we're all in this together so you know hopefully we'll get through it together okay Let's give this, this is my little heat one. Somebody asked me, where's my, I've got a new one sitting here because I'm just waiting for that one to cark it because I dropped it. This is my heat one from Capriol Shabby Chic. The online link is in the below box. They're brilliant because they're not like a scary heat gun. They don't burn your paint. And it just is a heat to 350 degrees centigrade. So it won't set a light or burn your paint unless you're really trying to. And it's not so fierce the blow that it blows your paint unless you want it to and get it really low. So it gets rid of air bubbles and helps bring up your cells. Wowzers, look at that. Wowzers, trousers. Oh my goodness. Look at the colours in this. Beautiful. Come on, you sweet thing. Do your thing. See that green under there. Wow. And it hasn't gone muddy. How's that? Tutti fruity on looty. Oh my goodness, what gorgeous, gorgeous cells. And it's just those fresh citrusy colours leaping out from the canvas, my word. Look, cells, cells within cells within cells, little eyes, little, oh there's Alma's face in there. My goodness, you can just see so much, oh there's a little baby. Oh, it's got his tongue out. There's so much you can see. It's bizarre. I find it so bizarre. Bizarre, bizarre. Well, what do you think? Do I leave it like this? Do I give it a balloon? I think this one I must leave. I think I must leave it. It is so happening in here. <laughs> this face. There's Elmer's face for sure. Oh, there's a little koala bear there. There is so much in this painting, it's untrue. There's a wormy look with a sort of a biggish head. But look at the cells. Brilliant, I love it. Let me know what you think, guys. Um, whether I come back and I balloon it. Because I get told off so often by you guys. Why did you balloon it? You spoiled it. But, you know, ultimately, like I, I tell you all, it's the artists themselves that you have to please. It's your art room, your rules, your way. And I do definitely respect somebody that says it kindly that that is one that looked beautiful before the ballooning. And I really respect that. Um, absolutely, you know, because it's said in a, in, a, in a constructive way. So I may very well leave it. 
or I may go and make myself a little cup of coffee and I might come back and do some balloon embellishment. Um, so you either just wait for a few minutes and see if the photos are there of the end piece or I will maybe back. So thanks for joining me if I do not come back and I decide to leave it. But uh, those that know me well, they know exactly what to do. Okay, look away from the cam camera now if you don't want to see balloon embellishing. But I'm back and I want to embellish because it's what I love to do. And it's kind of my signature thing. So I've done these little uh, balloon embellishments. I, I hopefully I'm not going to do too much. But I'm going to keep it along the sides of the camera, uh, the sides of the canvas to be like the uh, the veil instead of going all over it oh look at those colors that come out how can you not see beautiful I love it you know what I'm gonna leave it I just wanted to show you that I wanted to do that particular thing in my tutti fruity paw to, to inspire and uplift so I just hope that you enjoy the nice, um, bright, vibrant colours and my beautiful little balloon uh, rolls. Kisses and rolling, that's what I love to do on canvas. What better? Okay, have a wonderful weekend, you guys. Thank you for your very, very, very kind comments and support that I've been getting over the last week. I have had a bumper, bumper week. Uh, what are we on today? The 20-something? Friday the 20th? 21st? 22nd? Or 23rd? I'm not sure. But in one week, I've had 2,000 subscribers in one week. That is a record for me. An absolute record. So what are we in May 2020? If you're watching this in six months' time. Um, in May 2020, I was on, a, uh, I think I've just touched 57,000 subscribers. So it's over 2,000 subscribers in one week. I am absolutely blown away, as are my adult children with eye rolling and all. Um, but they're absolutely pleased for me beyond words, as I am. So thank you so much, you kind, kind, wonderful people. Um, until next time and bring you something else for you to have a go at in these challenging times for us all. So please stay safe, stay positive and we'll all get through this together and things will definitely improve. So bye for now.